and as the Olympic champion and world champion, of course, from 2005. I mean, that's absolutely the top of his particular tree, I'm sure. The achievements in 04 in Athens and 05 in Anaheim as the world champion would have been the pinnacle of his achievements in his favourite sport. But uh, he still has the ability to thrill the world with his skills. He was a little bit troubled there by uh, in the quarterfinals by Kwan of Malaysia. You can see there, 21-19 in the third, and that was a tough one. Also, Yun Hu, you can see there, he also had trouble with him. 21-19 in the third. He really does put all his fans on edge, does Taufik. He looks as if he's got it all covered, and then a few errors and lack of concentration. And some people would say his stamina as well. But I tell you, I've just had a word with him prior to this match, and he says he's feeling good. Well, if Taufik is feeling good, watch out, Tommy. You can see he also had a couple of, in fact, three of his four matches on the way went to three games. 21-9 in the third against Tan of Malaysia and also of Ios 17. That was a bit closer, wasn't it? But uh, the others were uh, not too bad at all. Tommy, of course, is the son of one of Indonesia's favourite sons of all time, Ichuk Sugiato. Well, he must be 47 now, but he was a world champion in 83. So um, the legend and his offspring are uh, on show. There's our umpire for this match, Mr. Srivastavi of India. And, uh, well, I'm sure there won't be any incidents here. These players, although they are very, very competitive... They certainly know how to get on with it. And uh, in the spirit of great badminton, what they will be aiming to do is to win, but win with style and entertain the crowd here. When Taufik is on his metal and on his song, I tell you what, you've got to watch out. He is just sensational. His strength, of course, is that extraordinarily powerful backhand. You can say he can smash with that backhand as well as a lot of people, certainly club players, hit their forehand. He just has the timing. I just don't know how he manages it, but the timing in the backhand is exquisite. His net play and the surprise shot. He doesn't. He plays shots that are not in the manual. They just surprise the opposition, and his defence play is brilliant. I'm not absolutely certain how many times they've played in practice. I doubt that they've done it a great deal because in terms of the head-to-head -head at the moment, there's only one that I've got against them in their, uh, their major meetings, and that was in a GP gold event in Macau. But, uh, Taufik actually won the event, and uh, he beat his opponent of the day quite easily there. So according to the rankings... Taufik Hidayat is on his way to the final. There's a little matter of an opponent called Tommy Sugiato, because at 53 in the world, you wouldn't give him much of a chance, would you? World rank 7, Taufik, but I've watched him come from absolutely dead, dead and out of it to come back and thrill for a win. So you never discount Taufik, whatever the situation is. He is quite extraordinary. Annoying, I'm sure, for a coach but thrilling to watch as a spectator. We'll be underway in just a couple of moments with this first of the men's single semi-finals here in Hyderabad, just outside Hyderabad, in a new city called Cyberabad. I'll tell you why in a while. It will be Taufik to serve then at the start of this semi-final. And a good start. The third shot was perfect. Now, he always looks nonchalant. He always looks unruffled, untroubled. Look at that for a deception. Great work. Lovely cross court. He took the pace off it a little bit there. That's what uh, Sugiato did to deceive. Watch this. Cuts across it, but took the pace off it. And that really didn't carry then for the diving 
Taufik. It's one all. Into the body, that hip shot, always a danger target. He's young, he's enthusiastic, and this would be a huge sculp if he managed to take Taufik out. Great recovery. Beautiful rally. Superb rally. And it's eventually won, I think, by Tommy, was it? Yeah, it went over. Crikey. It hit the net so hard, I was deceived there. It would have taken a half a whale if that one had uh, been caught in a net. My gosh, 3-1. A little luck there to finish off what was a very, very special rally and Ta Taufik's not happy about something I can't quite tell you what at the moment but there's certainly some things has he got uh, something in his eye reflecting or what's going on here he maybe is having trouble with the breeze well we'll uh, check it out but at the moment Tommy Sugiato is really feeling pretty good about his start Superb pickup. Exhibition stuff from these two Indonesians. Fantastic shot. The drop at the net. And I've just been reliably informed that Taufik was actually asking for a door to be closed in the stadium because he could obviously feel that there was something happening in the air. He's been playing on this court all week and he knew there was something different. But... Uh, that was a superb rally. Two rallies in a row to enthrall the crowd. That's lovely. Again, it's all in the eyes. It looked from the body language as if Tommy was going to play it down the line, but he cut beautifully across it for 4-2. It's no wonder the Indonesians love this game. Estora Sanayan in Jakarta, well, it's a mecca for all badminton fans. And look at that, what a shot. How on earth did he play that one? It was short, actually. No, it, I think it went over. It's 3-4, yeah. That uh, caption that came up, it's now correct, 3-4. But the Estora Sanayan is really a place that every badminton fan should have the experience it is just extraordinary the cacophony of noise down there when you see a guy like Taufik who's made it of course the Indonesian open his own six times he's won it just wide for all Precision is the name of the game. It was only a couple of millimetres out, but it was called correctly. Of course, he was the fourth sing single player in the Thomas Cup down in Mistura Sanayan in Jakarta last year. Epic battle where the Chinese again reign supreme in the team events. Again, just watch this. He doesn't move, but it's all beautiful wrist and timing work for 5-4. Three points in a row. Six four. And that really was the a guy under pressure. <laughs> Taufik, Taufik. 
snatched it at there, and that he will not be proud of. It's five. Well, what's going on here? It'll be a reset. No? It was out. 7-5. Okay, the service judge called it. So it'll be 7-5, Taufik. 6-7. All week these players have had it quite tough reading the breeze in here. From our position, it looks fairly elliptical, although I've had another look at it. It's more round here, the whole stadium, but um, there's a lot of air con, there's a lot of doors around, and the breeze definitely circles in this, this stadium. It's difficult to control. Of course, these players will be back again in August for the World Championship, so it's just as well they've had this trip out to check it all through. It's levelled at eight. He looks totally unflustered, doesn't he? Taufik. This time he's short at the net. It's 9-8 to Sugiato. And again he's short. Now this is typical Taufik. He's brilliant and then he just loses the concentration a little bit. It's 10-8. It's cat and mouse play at the moment. Brilliant stuff. Fantastic touch play by both these players. Look at this. Now the big hit, maybe. No, now. Yes. Good work to follow up. Taufik denies Sugiato the privilege of getting to the interval in the lead at the moment. It's 9-10. Great play, but some beautiful, beautiful badminton touches there. Kissing the shuttle. Well, they are, in fact, taking an enforced break because we have to have some sweat mopped up on Sugiato's side. He actually went to ground. And, uh, it's no wonder these guys have put in already a huge amount of effort. 9-10. Taufik will have that very famous little backhand service. Very flat. And that's long, and it's 10 all. Ah, too good. He goes to the the interval. Three shots and three scores in a row for Taufik Adaya of Indonesia. And he really is going well at the moment. His, uh, his skills, well, everyone admires them worldwide. In a GP Gold event like this Yonex Sunrise Indian Open, You'd expect him to be very, very competitive. He was taken very close to the wire by Quan Ben Hong in that quarterfinal. Just 21-19. And he came within two points of going down by two, love. But uh, he fought back well. Great change of direction for Sugiato. Talfi just... Made a hesitation move to his forehand side and then Sugiato thumped it down the, the backhand for 11 all.
such a clever player. Oh, my goodness. That is the kind of thing that we talked about. He comes out with shots that are just not in the coaching manual. Watch this one. Snatch. It's gone. Sugiato left standing. It was absolutely stunning. What a shot for 12-11 from Taufik. It's just innate that. It's something that's in the body. You just cannot coach it. Again, he's right there. He knew there would be problems. He followed up on it. And he is, well, he's a showman, isn't he? He loves his game. So do we. 13-11. And with the pressure, she's, Sugiato suddenly feels a little bit under pressure. He's got to hurry the shot. Instead of keeping that shuttle safely in play, he went for the big one because he's being frustrated by Taufik's defence and resilience. And that's short again, 15-11. And suddenly, it's all looking very, very impressive for Taufik. He's taken a time, as usual. He normally is a slow starter. But now he's into it, he'll want to finish this game. And again, the, the receiver, Tommy Sugiato, is just under pressure. Big problem, of course, is he's got to be so accurate he can't afford to make the errors. This is the big problem. Oh, great stuff. Well done, Tommy. Well, he's broken a sequence of five winning points. Look at that. In fact, it must have just clipped the net as it crossed there. Great work for 12-16. It's still stretching even though he's well into this match. Keeping himself fit, the 28-year-old. Well, that's the first error on the backhand we've seen from him. 13-16. He's as modest off-court as he is wonderfully arrogant on-court. He's just a lovely guy. Well, I think that went over. It's 17-13. I had the great privilege of being with Taufik for his birthday, his last birthday in Beijing. August the 10th, I remember it very clearly. We were hosted by Andrew Cam at the uh, Hyatt, the Grand Hyatt in Beijing. We had a lovely little ten-seater affair for his birthday. It was absolutely wonderful. Really enjoyed his company. And, of course, to sit down with the Olympic champion at the Olympics was an enormous privilege. Another great rally. Lots of variety. And again, it's the touch game of Taufik that's extraordinary. Brilliant stuff. He didn't push it. He just had that wonderful, wonderful control. And again, look at that. So close to the net. No chance for Sugiato to respond. 18-13. Well, I must say he's playing a much better game at the moment than he did in the quarterfinals. He was a little bit erratic. Here, he's far more consistent. Made a couple of errors, but generally, he's been the Taufik of old, and it's 19-13. Again, it's that backhand, whether it's flat, looping, whether it's drop-shotting. 
He's just so, so much in control. Taufik is thumping. Oh, we haven't seen him in a full-blooded jump smash until now. Oh, my goodness. Not only accurate, powerful, game point, it's wonderful. It's no wonder he's got so many fans around the world. Absolutely stunning. If you realize the extraordinary talent required to do that, well, we'd all be kneeling down in awe. Taufik is flowing. He's absolutely in wonderful form. I went over earlier to ask him how he felt because there was rumours of him having a bit of a tummy upset. But he said, I'm feeling good. And there is the result. 21-13. Don't forget, in this match, it was 11-all. What an extraordinary exhibition of high-quality play here. Look at this. Coming up now is the backhand. Oh, no, here's the big thump. No, he's still in this one. Now it's lifted up to the... That's the one. Now, that's the smash that I talk about. Amazing power. Reverse angle. The drop. It's now... It's going pretty high there, but this is the jump smash. No, it's not. Not quite. What a great rally. There it is. Beautiful stuff to watch. Well, if anyone doubted Taufik Adayat's willingness to continue at the top level in this sport you've got to be just watching a few of these rallies because he is still the most exquisite player to watch and he doesn't okay there's a bit of sweat on his brow but he doesn't appear to be ruffled he skates around the court he floats around the whole area wonderful there's the score 21 13 in the first tal fikadayat in this first of the men's semi-finals is underway in the second. The angles, watch out, watch out. <laughs> the angles that he creates and the way he opens up the opponent. You see, under pressure there, uh, no chance. Well, we've never seen Taufik actually playing the perfect game, but the number of errors he's made since 11 all in the first have been minimal. Good hit from Sugiato to put the pressure on. It was just a big, powerful drive. I'm sure the crowd here would love to see a really good competition, some great rallies. Ah, oh, no, don't say this. Nah. Oh, dear. It's gone over. That's two all, I think. Oh, dear. Second time that uh, Sugiato has hit the net so strongly. In fact, it caught the tape, and he apologizes immediately. But uh, that through the legs from Taufik just shows his reaction time is extraordinary.
Oh, yes. Absolutely superb. He created three options there. He could have played it cross-court with a smash. He could have actually dropped it on the backhand side. He chose to just make a really, really beautiful jump drop shot and created 3-2. It's short. It's 5 2. Just wide, 6 2. There are a lot of fans of Taufik Hidayat in India. It's 7 2, five in a row again. This time he changed his attack onto the hip. He's just got so many options. That's the extraordinary problem that Sugiato has got. Taufik's range of shots is extraordinary. No, behind the back this time. Well, Sugiato is trying his best, but he knows he's against the master. Pupil and master. Taufik, of course, with so many claims to fame around the world. Six Indonesian titles to his name. One world championship. One <laughs> Olympic championship. He's never won the All England, surprisingly. But uh, in fact, there are two Indians who lay claim for that. Pulela Gobachan, who has an academy here, and hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to talk to him a little bit later on because he's looking after Saina Newal as, as well as a, a lot of other top-class Indian players of the future, of course. And uh, Prakash Purikone is also from way back, 1980, I think he was the world champion as well. So India knows a lot about badminton, let me tell you, and they've got a great fan club. But at the moment, they're all watching this particular man, Taufik Hidayat, at 9-3 in the second. It's good. That's a wonderful drop. Absolutely superb. Watch him take the sting off this. He kisses it. Lovely spin and perfect placement. 4 9. Taufik makes it 10.
Oh, that's a great effort by Sugiato. It's a, gr a wonderful rally, but just watch this. Yeah. Well set. 5-10. He is working so hard. The underdog putting up a big battle. He's actually had three net winners in the stats so far. Taufik, again in this game, has had five in a row to take the lead. And now that's 11-5. We go to the interval. Taufik's range of shots is the big difference. He just moves around the court, appearing to be so, so easy, and then suddenly pounces. Pounces like a cheetah. Well, it's a great privilege for me to come here to Hyderabad, I must say. It's the first time I've been here to do any work. And um, came in from Colombo from a sports commentator's workshop via Bangalore. So I've had a little experience, not a great deal, but what I've seen I've really appreciated and enjoyed. And it's, uh, it's great to be here. Again, the cross-court option was the right one. And I tell you, Tommy Sugiato is no slouch. You see how tall he is, but again, the shuttle was left so late for the strike, he had no idea whether it's going down the line or cross-court. 12-5. Well, it's noticeable that most of the uh, mopping up is taking place on Tommy Sugiato's side. He's the one that's having to dive and save. Oh, you beauty. 13-5. Watch this. There was no, no way that this was going to be anything but perfection. This is another perfect rally, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic for the purists of the sport that love to see men in control of that shuttle. Fantastic effort. OK, it was one on an error for 14-5, but Taufik is really, really on song. We've got another really great battle coming up later on today in the men's singles. It will be Chen Long, the youngster, and the pretender. Look at this! Oh, -ho! it's a circus. We have got entertainment aplenty here, and this is acrobatic stuff from Taufik. Wow. We see some spectacular catches, and I'm sure the Indian cricket team We'll remember many of them, but that was quite spectacular, wasn't it? Wonderful stuff. The backhand. It's not exactly the play of the day, but it will certainly uh, it'll make good news coverage. Wonderful stuff. I was mentioning the match that's coming up. Chen Long, the pretender, of course, who is the junior world champion from 2007 at the age of 19 he turned 19 in january against hafiz mohammed hafiz hashim from malaysia who has been there and done it all england champion from 2003 how did he get that back sorry to interrupt but I, it's spectacular stuff here from taufik he is in the zone That's great work from Sugiato. Disappointment for the crowd, maybe, but that is fabulous. Six smash winners in this game to Taufik. Net winners are 4-3 to Sugiato, and that's why he just had that 
fabulous touch. Really, really tight control at the net for Tommy Sugiato. He's not going to win this, but he certainly is battling. But isn't this interesting, the way that Taufik can now just relax. It's just gone. And when he's relaxed, sensational stuff emerges. Well, whether Chen Long or Hafiz gets through, it'll be junior world champion against former world champion, or Hafiz, if he gets through, former All-England champion against a player like Taufik, who has never managed that accolade. So whatever, we're going to get a great men's singles final tomorrow. Anywhere. He shaped up cross court, played it down the middle. Yeah, too good. And again, the power on that backhand, 17-7. No. Three times, once through the legs and twice around the back. Now, will Sugiato manage to reach double figures? He's having to stretch so much there, and it's out. It's 18-8. Eight, And again, he's now got the measure of the, the drift, the wind as well. I don't think we've seen an error of judgment on the line call from Taufik. There were a few of those yesterday in his matchup against Kwan. Not today. He's definitely on song. If you've joined us uh, during this match, just to let you know that this one, this matchup, Taufik Hidayat of Indonesia against his compatriot, Tommy Sugiato, 53 ranked in the world, Taufik at seven. They've played each other once before in the Macau Open in October last year. Taufik was the winner there, went on to win the tournament. But uh, celebration for Sugiato as he gets to double figures. It's 19-10. Well, he's certainly, if he, if he plays as well as this in the final, I can't see anybody living with him because he's absolutely sensational. He's just in, a, he's in another world of control at the moment. He's really enjoying himself. That was short. 11-19. Cast your minds back to that Olympic gold. What a stunning lead-up he had to winning it. He won it against the Korean, Sean Seung Mo, eventually. But uh, he had to go through Thailand's Bunsak to get there, as well as Peter Garda and Wong Chun Han, of course, in the second round. Yamada of Japan. He beat a whole quality group of players. We are match point here in this semi-final. That's it. All over. 21-11 in the second game. And Taufik Hidayat was in a different league. Tommy Sugiato held up for the first half of the first game. It was 11-all in the first game. Thereafter, it was Taufik that had himself a ball. It was fabulous to watch. Great excitement here. He will now have to wait a little bit longer to find out who he meets in the final tomorrow.
There's the winning caption then. Taufik Hidayat goes through to the final here in India. And uh, we've now got coming up very shortly a women's doubles encounter. It'll be Indonesia's Marissa and Malati taking on home favourites Guta and Kurian. And to bring you that one, I'm pleased to say it's Anil Fahil game. <laughs>